Okay, thank you. Um, this is uh, uh, being taped, not because I have anything particularly uh, um, uh, profound to say, but uh, because of a uh, kind of odd coincidence. Fate plopped a particularly interesting person down in your lap. Rob doesn't talk about himself. He doesn't encourage other people to talk about him either. I was just feeling lost. And some stranger throws this pile of old, dusty letters on me. Letters to an 18-year-old Harvard freshman from a father who was losing everything. Dear Rob, your mother and I have put you in an unusual position. Perhaps you know that I am officially labeled a chronic paranoid schizophrenic. They say this is an inherited disease. I always wondered what was the matter with you. might me. help the Shaw family get back together. Remove the stigma of mental illness which is put on its name. Wow, what a pile of papers to find. I heard some story, Rob is calling me, and then he says, there is this woman, she's doing uh, a biography on me. Um, but there is nothing, I haven't had any life, there is no biography on me. <laughs> the world around us is being redefined by the strange new science of chaos. The physics department at Santa Cruz in that era is an amazing place. So we decided to form this little group. We started talking about chaos, which Rob was the one who really triggered. The idea that randomness was coming from physics, it was just a eureka moment. I think it's deep and underappreciated how much of life is just pure random luck. Nothing you have any control over, it just happens. And all you can do is ride the wave. This is all about those weird coincidences in life, but the mere fact that you're wacky enough to hang on to a box of letters that some random guy gave you in a bar says a lot about you. Who was the guy that gave me those letters? so wrong. You don't see anything until you have metaphors, little stories. Stuff can just go right by. If it's strange enough, you don't even see it. 